Merry Christmas. I desire to share with you a Christmas message. We'll end with some practical items, such as the Christmas Mass times and details. For many months now, our staff has been starting out our meetings with a community building exercise. For example, predictions on how much snow would fall in this year, some minute to win it type contests. This past week was to name your favorite Christmas movie. Now, nearly everyone's selection of their favorite Christmas movie was wrapped up in some meaningful memory of relationships in their life. What we enjoy about Christmas is really wrapped up in our relationships with family, friends, and our Lord. The people in whom we have experienced love, forgiveness, and joy. I treasure the opportunity I've had to get to know you in greater depth. It is from this deeper place of relationship with you that I want to extend my love and warmest wishes this Christmas season. I only wish I could free myself up more and more from this running the parish stuff to spend more time with you and to get to know you better. But really, I think this is the tension, so to speak, that we all have in our lives. This beautiful journey to know the treasure of the very people in our lives, including, of course, a relationship with God who was born into our world. This is truly a season of delight. I delight in you. I delight in the joy of this season. I delight in the students at our school. They are so much joy to me. I delight in being your pastor and the ways that you have supported me in my gifts and in my shortcomings. I delight in being known by God and this awesome journey with him. I delight in the baby in the manger. I delight in the relationship he has formed with us. I delight in being able to celebrate Christmas with you. What are, what are the delights in your life? Rather, I should say, who are the delights of your life? May your delights draw you into the heavenly delights revealed by this baby son born this Christmas. Let me share a few details about Christmas Masses. On Christmas Eve, on Friday, we have a vigil at 4 p.m. It'll probably be the most packed, so if you want to avoid crowds, maybe avoid that one. But it'll be a beautiful Mass. We also have a Mass on the vigil at 10 p.m. It'll be the Mass in the night, and then at 10 a.m. on Christmas Day, on Saturday. At the 10 p.m. and the 10 a.m. Masses, we will have a small section for those who would like to wear masks and be surrounded by others wearing masks. But there'll be plenty of room uh, for everybody. We'll offer confessions on Christmas Eve from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., basically before the Mass starts. And we always offer confessions a half hour before every Mass, uh, so you can always um, catch at any, at any Mass you go to. I would like to close uh, with a poem and a memory for many, at least many of our young people. For the last several years, the following poem has echoed down the corridors of our school as Christmas break begins. In that familiar voice of our principal, Mr. Kadaba, please enjoy. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter nap. When out of the lawn there rose such a clatter I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw open the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eye should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. 
with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pine of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bowl, and his beard to his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe held tight in his teeth, and the smoke encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside on his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team with a whistle, and away they all flew like a down of a thistle. But I heard him explain or drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas, everyone, and Happy New Year from Holy Spirit School. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Protect us, O Lord, as we stay awake. Watch over us as we sleep, that awake we may keep watch with Christ, and asleep rest in his peace. Merry Christmas again, and Happy New Year from Holy Spirit School.